Acne is a skin condition that occurs when your hair follicles become plugged with oil and dead skin cells. It causes whiteheads, blackheads, or pimples. Acne is most common among teenagers, though it affects people of all ages. Acne is a very common skin condition that causes pimples mostly on the face, forehead, chest, shoulders, and upper back. What are the different types of acne? 1. Blackheads Open bumps on the skin that fill with excess oil and dead skin. They look as if dirt has deposited in the bump, but the dark spots are actually caused by an irregular light reflection off the clogged follicle. 2. Whiteheads Bumps that remain closed by oil and dead skin. Papules, small red or pink bumps that become inflamed. Pustules, pimples containing pus. They look like whiteheads surrounded by red rings. They can cause scarring if picked or scratched. 3. Fungal acne. This type occurs when an excess of yeast develops in the hair follicles. They can become itchy and inflamed. Nodules, solid pimples that are deep in your skin. They are large and painful cysts pus filled pimples these can cause scars what causes acne acne is largely a hormonal condition that's driven by androgen hormones which typically become active during the teenage and young adult years sensitivity to these hormones combined with surface bacteria on the skin and fatty acids within oil glands can result in acne fluctuating hormone levels around the time of a woman's period picking at acne sores clothing and headgear like hats and sports helmets. Air pollution and certain weather conditions, especially high humidity. Using oily or greasy personal care products like heavy lotions, creams, or hair pomades and waxes, or working in an area where you routinely come in contact with grease, such as working at a restaurant where there are greasy food. Stress, which increases the hormone cortisol, can also cause acne to flare some medications genetics symptoms of acne acne commonly appears on the face and shoulders it may also occur on the trunk arms legs and buttocks skin changes include one crusting of skin bumps two cysts three papules small red bumps four pustules small red bumps containing white or yellow pus five redness around the skin eruptions scarring of the skin six whiteheads seven blackheads exams and tests your healthcare provider can diagnose acne by looking at your skin testing is not needed in most cases bacterial culture may be performed with certain patterns of acne or to rule out infection if large pus bumps persist treatment one clean your skin gently with a mild non-drying soap two look for water-based three remove all dirt or makeup wash once or twice a day including after exercising formulas for cosmetics and skin creams four avoid scrubbing or repeated skin washing five shampoo your hair daily especially if it is oily six comb or pull your hair back to keep the hair out of your face what not to do Try not to aggressively squeeze, scratch, pick, or rub the pimples. This can lead to skin infections, slower healing, and scarring. Avoid touching your face with your hands or fingers. Avoid greasy cosmetics or creams. Do not leave makeup on overnight. These products may contain benzoyl peroxide, sulfur, resorcinol, adipoline, or salicylic acid. They work by killing bacteria, drying up skin oils, or causing the top layer of your skin to peel. They may cause redness, drying, or excessive peeling of the skin. Be aware that benzoyl peroxide contain in 